Hello Virgo! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read for the main part of the read. I'm using Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan, illustrated by Mark Evans. Uh, information at the bottom here is their names again, plus the Llewellyn.com website. If you're interested, feel free to freeze frame and check it out. Supportive Oracle Cards, Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen Raish Baskin. Websites in the back, WatkinsPublishing.co.uk, ToriHartman.com, WatkinsPublishing.com too, I think, is there somewhere. Feel free to check out whatever you would like to check out, of course. Of course. What do we have for Virgo? Okay, let's get them all down before I get too excited, because it looks good, but let's get them all down. No, I think this is good. Ooh, the sun card at the end. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, gonna make sure you're valued. Um, make sure you're valued. Don't be too quiet. Alright, that's just flying out of nowhere. Don't be too quiet. Um, you've helped something move forward. You really have. I feel like you're... I feel like this is you. This may sound weird, and I'll show you what it is. I feel like this is you. Somebody needed help. And for a lot of you, I really feel like this is a work thing, but however it was, you added into a situation. I feel like you added in. I feel like I was fine with it. Maybe you started with little pieces at first, and you got gradually deeper and deeper and deeper. F feels to me like the way you assimilated in was fairly comfortable. So like whatever it was, even if you're like helping family with something or whatever it is, maybe one week you did a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Not no big deal, no big thing. Then the next week you did that plus a smidgen more. Fast forward two to three months, you're, you're pretty well into it. You're doing a lot more. But the way it kind of like folded in and you were able to move it around and it seems fine. I don't see the, the way you got into the situation doesn't seem like it was bad. You were judgment in somebody's favor. You got karma here. I feel like, you know, what you put into life is what you get out of life. You're putting in a lot. Um, people knew you were dependable. People wanted you because of that. Now, the thing is, there are rewards to be had. You deserve some of these rewards. Um, how do I explain this? <laughs> It's like there's a hundred dollars, all right, and that hundred dollars is getting divided up. I, you may not realize that there's a hundred dollars there, but it's kind of like, I feel like it's kind of, you might see five bucks here, 20 bucks go there, 30 bucks go there, and then you're kind of thinking, well, all right, that's where that went. Not realizing that all that money's going somewhere, but the thing is, that's like, I want to say I... I want to say I used up like $55, so there's $45 left. Again, I don't see realizing how much is there. So there's $45 left, and you deserve like a good 20 to 30 of it, is what I'm getting. You deserve like a 20 to 30 of it for the participation you're putting into it. But if you don't say anything, I feel like somebody else takes that whole 45 and you deserve 20 to 30 of it. Um, so, somebody else is not only getting what you should have, but they're getting something that they don't deserve, is what I'm actually getting. Um, you, you, you have to speak up for yourself. You really do. Um, because I'm getting... You're putting in a lot of work. I've known people like this. So, I don't know, I hope I say this correctly, so it's with total respect, but there's people I know that they play themselves down. They're constantly helping, they're doing things to help the situation move forward, but they play down what they're doing as if it's not that much. Meanwhile, it's one of these things where maybe in the morning they help, they help get a, a situation started, like they help open up the doors. We're going to make it a business thing, I feel like that's easier. They unlock the doors in the morning, and they make sure that, you know, 
you know, peep the right people are there before they lock out the unlock the doors. Like I'm gonna, so they do that part. They unlock the doors, make sure the right people are there. So that is significant. Making sure the right people are there and unlocking the doors that's something. But they're like, well, it's not that much. Then every now and then they just make sure everybody's taken care of and everybody had their lunch break. Not that much. Then they're stepping in and helping people when somebody needed to do that. They're like, they're picking up the slack here. They're picking up the slack there. But they're like, it's not that much. Then they're like, they're, they're doing a little extra over here at the end of the day. And maybe, God forbid, they're there. And they're also still at the end of the day. And then they're also making sure everything's cleaned up before they lock up and they actually lock the doors. And they're like, but it's not that much. Meanwhile, also doing their normal responsibilities. So they're looking out for all these things, taking responsibility, making sure everybody else is taken care of, making sure things are done correctly, making sure the door opens on time, make sure, making sure it's locked at the end of the day. But they're kind of, they keep playing it like, oh, it's not that much, it's not that much. They're doing all these things throughout the day. And they're doing this like every day. Every day they're at this place, they're doing this every day. That is significant. You know, somebody you can depend on to do the things that need to be done and do them correctly because not everybody is that way. There's good people out there who are just all over the place and if the door should open at 8 a.m. just for argument's sake, maybe they want to do that, maybe they're committed to doing that, but then sometimes they're like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be over here at 8 o'clock, so I'm just gonna open it at 7. Or they're like, they forget about it and they're like, oh, it's 10 a.m., how come nobody's here? Oh, I forgot to open the door, it's great. Or they're like, they get so caught up they don't realize they didn't lock the door at the end of the night. Or there's people that need help and they're not, they're, they're, they want to help, they have every intention to help, but they're just so caught up in their own things that they don't step around and make sure other people are taken care of. Like, not there's good people who just can't do the same things that you do. That's what we're saying. Um, it doesn't make them bad people, it's just how they live life, it's just how their brain works. It's not a bad thing, it's just how it works. And if you're one of these people who's doing this stuff, especially if you're playing yourself down, especially, like, speak up about what you do. Take... Write it down. Like, maybe if you look at it, not only look at what you do, for example, if you were opening the doors in the morning, I mean, it's an analogy, obviously, but how long do you spend, like, write down, like, time it. How long do you do that? When you step out to do this, how long do you do that? Write it all down just for yourself. You don't have to show anybody else if you don't want to. Just write it down and track how much time. Because I have a feeling it's going to be like an hour and a half to two hours, maybe two and a half for some of you. Like, y'all are going above and beyond, and you're not giving yourself credit. I know there's some of you watching this, and you're like, it's not that much. No, it's just somebody needs to do it, so I just do it. It's not that much. And you probably do all this every day. Every day. Because I feel like, especially Virgos, you thrive with patterns. So it's not like you just ha randomly happen to help people. You get in a habit of doing it, and you just keep doing it, and then you just keep doing it. And you're like, eh, I'm used to it. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. But you do more than you give yourself credit for. Um, cause I feel like they're like, they're, you shouldn't feel bad for like pointing out that you're helping. Um, that's not arrogant to say, Hey, I did all this and I deserve my fair share. That is not arrogant. That is fair. Um, you shouldn't feel bad about it. That's all I'm saying. Um, cause you do do a lot. They're like, you do, you do. And you maybe need to track it for yourself. If you need to take a week to track it, track it for yourself. I feel like, especially for the people this is going to hit with, Maybe that's what you need. You need to prove it to yourself. And when you see it and you're like, I'm doing this every day and I'm spending almost two and a half hours on all this stuff I'm doing for other people. Meanwhile, not doing my stuff that needs to get done. But mind you, my stuff does still get done. So like I'm working harder to get my stuff done and taking two and a half hours out of my day to do other people's jobs, to make sure other people are taken care of, to make sure other people are going to be okay and things keep running. Like give yourself credit. Give yourself credit. Because I'm also going to give the analogy, it's like if you're in a, a unit with other people and there's eight other people who have the same responsibilities that you do, everybody including you gets everything done at the end of the day that they're responsible for. Meanwhile, you're also doing two and a half hours of somebody else's job on top of that, but still seeming to get everything done because you're cramming in in, I'm going to say that's five and a half hours. Hopefully the math is on. In five and a half hours, you're doing an eight-hour job and doing other stuff. Let's just give give yourself some credit. Like, you know if this is hitting for you. You know if this is hitting for you. I mean, don't feel bad about tooting your own horn. It's not even tooting your own horn. It's just, like, credit, giving credit where credit is due. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm like, come on. You deserve, you deserve this. This is not like you're just kind of, like, showboating, like, oh, you saved the world today. You didn't do that. That's not what we're saying. You're saying... 
I did this. I deserve fair compensation. It's different. Um, you're not showboating. It's not showboating pointing out the value that you truly have. It's a soapbox. Can I get off the soapbox? Can I get off the soapbox? <laughs> I would like to get off the soapbox now, please, if y'all don't mind. Um, is there anything else I have to say about that before I let it go? Ten minutes later. Ten minutes later. Um, two of Cups. And the um, hanged man on its side, which is saying, you are very appreciated and people know you are good at what you do. I, the world works the way the world works. So, I'm not going to say, you know, while that $45 hangs in the balance, you should be, somebody should just be like, oh, you, you deserve this, Virgo. I see what you do here. Here's your $20 to $30. The world works the way the world works. It's not, it's not how I see it happening. You have to point out, I deserve that 20 to 30 extra dollars. Look what I do. I deserve that 20 to 30 extra dollars. Come on. And they're going to be like, yeah, you do. Because you had justice over here. This is a weird one. It's not coming forward unless you point it out. Because there might be a third party. I don't know. Because I feel like somebody's going to point it out. Well, like you're going to point it, if you speak up and say, I deserve this, somebody else is going to go talk with another person and they're going to see it on paper and they're like, wow, Virgo's been doing this the whole time. We need to keep Virgo. We need to, yes, we need to keep Virgo. So let's make sure we compensate them correctly because if we compensate them correctly, more than likely we'll keep them. And clearly we need to keep them because they do an eight hour job and a five, five and a half hours plus do this other job. We need to compensate them because that's how we keep them, by compensating them and trying to keep them happy and show that we're thankful for all that they do. This person doesn't, I don't think they come in because I'm like, why isn't this just, this person doesn't come into play unless you start the conversation and you push it forward because I feel like then somebody talks to somebody else, it's one of those things, and then the person who has the authority goes, you know what, yeah, Virgo, yes. Definitely. We want to keep Virgo. We need to compensate Virgo. We need to show our appreciation. And the best way to show an employee uh, appreciation is to give them more money. I don't know why I'm going to go here, but I'm going to go here with this. I don't know why. Um, I've seen this before. <laughs> I've been on the other end of this. Um, if once in a while a manager buys donuts for the office... I don't know why I'm going here with this, but that doesn't, that's not enough. I'm sorry. But if people are going above and beyond in every day, going above and beyond, above and beyond, a donut in the morning, keep your donut. I need a bigger paycheck. We need a bigger paycheck. We need compensation. Keep your donut. I don't know why I'm going there with that, but like, I've seen management do that before in different places, and I'm just like, um, I come early, stay late, and then work on the weekends, and you think a blank and donut is going to make that okay? Keep your donut. Keep your donut. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm just kind of like, if it, it seems like, I don't know why I'm going there with that, because I'm like, I understand like they're trying to do what they can do, but sometimes that's more like, you know, you know work on getting us more compensation. Like, we need the money. Show us like how this is going to work out. Fix what's wrong. Don't just try to pacify us with a sugary treat. Fix what's wrong. Fix what's wrong. Don't give us a Band-Aid. We can get our own Band-Aids. Thanks. Can get my own donut and actually get one that I actually want, not... Thank you. Fix the actual problem. I don't know why we're going there with that. So if that kind of adds in, I feel like for the people that that makes sense for, maybe you're working a place where that happens, where like, you know, instead of people getting extra compensation, management buys something for dinner or something for lunch or some brings in like something for breakfast like that or buys coffee or something like that. It's kind of like, that's not good enough. No. That's that's not good enough. I don't. I can get my own coffee. I can get my own donut. I'm good. I can buy my own lunch. Not for nothing. I've seen when they when they do that stuff. They buy that stuff. It's kind of like a lot of times for me anyway. I was like I didn't want that anyway. So thank you, I guess. But that's not what I wanted. Like I understand the intention, but no. Fix the actual problem. Don't try to pacify me with a sugary treat. Maybe that's gonna click in because I'm like, why am I? I'm, it's a very soapboxy day apparently. Um. <laughs> You come forward, things change. Also, I would also get in the habit, I would also definitely get in the habit of at least once a week tracking what you do, excuse me, 
In fact, if you can get in the habit daily of tracking what you do, you don't have to be meticulous. Maybe at the end of the day, maybe at second break, if you have second break, just like write down everything you've done and what, what you still plan to do before the end of the day. Just track it all. If you could put a, like an estimated how long you've been doing these things, I would, I would do this daily. I highly would recommend that because I have a feeling you're really doing a lot more than you're getting credit for. And as you keep going forward, if you keep these records, when you know opportunities come forward, especially if you want to go forward in other things, or you need to like prove your worth because that's how the world works, um, you can like I have all this. Not only do you, can you show everything you've done, but then you also show, hey, I pay attention and I keep track of what I do. I keep track of what's going on around me, so I'm very dependable. You know, very dependable. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> You got, if you do this, you got good things coming in. I feel like um, you're setting the standard too. This could be really good because don't, don't let it bother you if you see other people mimicking the whole they're going to track what they're going to do thing. Let them do it because I feel like more than half of them will just do it for like five minutes and go and then get bored with it. Or it'll be so sparse that it's not going to really hold up. Like, it's kind of like, well, I think I did this. I think I did that. Okay, whatever. Let other people mimic. Because I feel like this just goes to your credit. Um, I feel like what also might happen is there might be this weird thing. It's the healing card, but I see this coming in. I feel like other people are tracking other people. Other people are... Like, if you have coworkers, and maybe there's a little vendetta between coworkers. Maybe they're, like, watching each other. And they're making notes about what other people are doing and how much other people are doing. Don't get involved with that. Don't stay right out of that. Stay right out of that. That will that will balance itself out. Just stay out of it. Because I feel like when people are more interested in other people and what they're doing rather than what they're doing, if that makes sense, if you know, it backfires. Just stay out of it. Don't worry about it. A lot of that's going to backfire on people. Most people are going to fizzle out with it. You just keep doing what you're doing because a lot of this becomes a fad. You're the one that's going to stand the test of time. And when people look at that and they're like, oh, you kept up with that. Wow, other people said they were going to do it and then they failed. And you're going to be like, yes, well, I'm Virgo. I am successful with repetition. <laughs> I am successful with pattern. Um, really good things going on here. You have extra opportunities coming forward later. You got more, like, you might be asked to track things later. You might be asked to track. If this whole thing is really hitting really hard for you, like a lot of this, like, uh, connects with your life, you might be asked to track things later on. That offers many, many opportunities. Um, I keep seeing, like, this business, and I'm getting, like, it's got multiple levels I'm, I'm questioning whether it started with multiple levels or it's going into multiple levels, whichever. You seem to have your choice about where you want to go because they need somebody who's going to track things, look at things. They want to know what's going on and they want somebody who's going to be like, this is how this and this is how much here and this is how much there. I don't know if they're looking for people to make decisions as much as like what's going on and how much actually got done and what was done correctly, what was not done correctly. There might be some stuff like that. That are, that's offering you opportunities. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's It doesn't feel bad, by the way, because I got the sun card at the end. Um, so you got more opportunities, but it all starts with you speaking up and saying, you know what, I'm doing all this extra stuff and I believe I deserve to be, you know, I need some extra compensation for that. Because, you know, one thing, in five and a half hours, I do what most people are doing in eight, plus I'm doing this other two and a half hour extra stuff over on the side, and I, th I, I'm clearly worth a lot here, and I feel like my paycheck needs to reflect that. So that's what it all starts with. So make sure you do that if this is hitting, especially if this is hitting real hard, and you're like, yeah, a lot of this sounds familiar to me. I'm just saying. I mean, you got to make your own decision clearly. All right, I think we're there. I'm gonna shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, James for Astral at gmail.com. That's James the number four astral at gmail.com if you're interested in the donation information it's below same email thank you again for watching and have a great day